look at him. This is Ariana, and I'm her mom, Kelsey. Ariana um, was very weak, so she was uh, developing like a normal baby would. Um, but then she, you know, as milestones were coming on, she just wasn't meeting those milestones. Um, so that's when we were sent to sick kids. And after months and months of testing and blood work and going back and forth, uh, they finally determined that she has Rett syndrome. So Rett syndrome is a, a neurological uh, disorder. It's uh, progressive, so meaning that it uh, generally gets worse. Um, with Ariana, um, how, what that means to her is she has very low muscle tone, uh, very low muscle strength. Uh, her, she has delays in her communication skills, her phone, fine motor skills, uh, and her social skills. Good job. It makes it difficult for Ariana. She can't speak, she can't sit up, and she can't walk. Uh, and they also lose purposeful movement of their hands. So uh, Ariana's quite dependent on us, which is all right, um, but also on um, her stroller and other things um, to get around and that sort of thing. Oh, here we go. Good job. So I met Ariana approximately two years ago. Uh, she came to us at Thrive uh, with mom, and uh, there were concerns about her development and her early motor skills at that point. She had a hard time lifting her head, holding up her head in different positions. So that's kind of where she was when we first met. It's hard. <sighs> Ariana is always so happy. So it makes it really hard for everyone around her, you know? She's kind of stuck in, in her body and she knows what's going on and she can't really do anything. So that's why we really rely on equipment so she doesn't miss out on things that everyone else is doing and that sort of thing. Yeah. Ariana went through our seating mobility clinic and we did an assessment uh, because she has the, the decreased core strength. Um, she's not able to, 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 to sit well in a regular stroller, doesn't provide enough support. So we did an assessment and prescribed a specialty stroller that has a lot of extra support like a headrest, laterals to, so that she can sit in it for a longer period of time. So she got prescribed that um, and funding through that uh, for that stroller, there's 75% of the cost is covered through the assistive devices program. Um, which means 25% of the cost is left over for families, um, which can be a pretty significant cost. Um, so that's where Easter Seals came in and, and was able to provide some support for that for the, for the family. Um, you know, we applied for Easter Seals, and thankfully they uh, covered, you know, the cost of her stroller. Um, because she can't sit up, it has special supports, and... Um, you know, we've got it so that it's able to go inside or outside. Um, so this, you know, she's outside for most of the day. She loves being outside. Um, so yeah, we go for walks regularly. Um, everything, really. Even if it's just sitting at the table, it, that, it even helps with that. So in our sessions with Ariana, um, we've been working on trying to develop some muscle strength by getting her to different positions and uh, working on trying to develop the strength in her, her neck so she can hold her head up in her trunk so she Good can job. hopefully sit up independently. Um, and she's been making gains in those areas. So now if you were to pick her up, she can hold her head, hold her trunk up, which she wasn't able to do before. And she's now showing us some improvements on the floor in sitting where she's requiring less support. Slowly but surely, we've made some gains. You know, um, Ariana used to be extremely weak um, and unable to even tolerate this position. Um, but through weekly therapy and, and Scott, he's just amazing. You know, Ariana sees him and she just lights up. Ariana is supported uh, very well by her family and, and Kelsey. Um, we do provide some activity recommendations, suggestions to carry out at home in addition to our intervention sessions. And uh, over the two years, we've seen mom kind of grow in that area and become much more comfortable in carrying out those activities. 
and certainly you can see that there's a very strong bond between Ariana and her family and she's very loved and well supported which makes uh, our sessions quite rewarding to see kind of that bond between Ariana and her family. Ariana! Well I would just uh, first of all like to thank them for making the donation. Um, those that are on the fence, uh, I cannot stress enough how much it really does help families like Ariana and us. Um, people are under the assumption that there's a lot of services out there for kids and support when really there isn't. Um, we all depend on Easter Seals tremendously.